What's going on with the media in France? I don't understand uh, what's happened. Is there a bias? You think against Israel? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. They are against Israel, yeah. I think. And uh, is it because they're so supportive of the Palestinians or what is it? I don't know. I don't know. But uh, you know, so when I when uh, when I want to to know exactly what's happened in France, so uh, I call my mother, or I I um, I watch uh, American uh, TV, BBC, something like that. And, and here you have the for me the real information. If I just uh, watch uh, French TV, you have the you know half of the truth. Really? Yeah, the half of the truth. France do. Yeah, France do. How about Fran uh, Fran France 24 uh, news channel? Same thing. Same Bias. Thing. Yeah. Bias against Israel. Yeah, not really against, but you know, you don't have the whole truth. You know? And uh, it's a different uh, point of view, you know? For, for example, if, um, if there is a problem in Israel and, and you have... Um, an attack of uh, Israel because uh, rockets, you know, there is a rocket, and just after a rocket, maybe uh, army Tsaal go to uh, to, uh, to to uh, to kill the terrorists. In France, first you heard Israel go to Palestinian uh -huh. and kill Palestinian, and at the end, without provocation. Yeah, so. yeah, and, and at the end or not, they say, but there there was a rocket. Ah, okay, okay, but it's not the good, uh, you know, it's not the good way. It's very strange. What kind of activists do you have in France? You have Fran uh, uh, activists who uh, uh, act uh, in protest, in demonstration yeah. ag against Israel? Yeah, yeah, a lot, yeah. A lot? Yeah. Where do you encounter them? How? Where do you encounter them? Encount? Encounter. Encounter. Where, where do you see them? Oh, in, uh, the lot stuff. Um, I don't have the word in English, but uh, you know, uh, stri not strike. You know, uh, demonstration. yeah, demonstration. Yeah. yeah. On the streets. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. In the streets. In the yeah. plazas and. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, on the TV, sometimes uh, you have on YouTube, on internet. You had a lot of things on the internet. You know, um, I have a lot of friends on Facebook, and sometimes I see things very hard for me. You know, against Israel. Yeah, because I'm a musician, so I have a lot of friends who love my music. But sometimes I say, wow, they love my music, but what they say about, about Israel, it's crazy. You know, it's not easy for me. And sometimes I have to, um, to delete friends of Facebook because it's impossible to, to me to, to see that, to read their post against Israel. I say, no, stop, I can't. Is it a, a sort of a fashion? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, and there is, uh, you know, a lot of uh, uh, the, um, not information, but disinformation, you know. There is a lot of fake, a lot of wrong things, and, uh, you know, two years ago, uh, there was a picture of, um, of a soldier with a, with a boy, a little boy, just um, under uh, their shoes, under their shoes, with a gun like this, you know. And a lot of people of my friends say, ah, Israelian, you see Tsaal, you see Tsaal. And one year after, um, a media proved that it's not a photo or picture of Tsaal, but a picture of Syria. You know? But, but uh, no one came out and publicized that? No, no one. And no one apologized. And uh, Charles uh, Anderlon, he's, uh, he's clear now, he's clear? Uh, no, no one's blaming on him, Mohamed Aldora. On Mohamed Aldora, you know, they, they fake the news story. No, no, no blame. Uh, what about this new? Uh, they had the, the JDL, Jewish Defense League. Is it was it in Lyon? They went and uh, and and sought some uh, vindication. Yeah, you you have vindication, but um, I don't hear about that. Me, I am not. Uh, no. I don't know. Does France, do you think, have a problem from the Muslim population? No, no problem. It's not, it's not that. Uh, you, you have problem, but, you know, people are stupid, you know. 
that because uh, they listen uh, the media they uh, I don't I don't understand what's happened but sometimes some people become crazy so it's not a population it's not a religion for me it's uh, just people who become crazy because uh, they are poor they feel uh, hungry jealous they think that uh, Jewish are always uh, have a lot of money all Jewish are rich all Jewish uh, control the media you know it's uh, always the same things in France now there's a movie being made uh, about Ilan Halimi yeah Ilan Halimi yes uh, movie finally a, a, a prominent director do you know about this no I don't know about this but uh, you know you see what's happened for him and for Tonatli it's crazy people who become crazy because I don't understand why but they just want to kill Jewish so it's crazy it's crazy uh, is it uh, or how is it to be a Jew publicly in France today? It's not easy because uh, if you if you if you are uh, if you are Jewish in France, a lot of time uh, they uh, people uh, ask you um, question about uh, Israel, about Palestinian, and sometimes you just want to say, "Oh, leave me alone, please." I'm just uh, I'm French. You know, you have French passport. I'm French. Okay, my religion is Jewish, but leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's not easy, you know. If you say that you, you are Jewish, you have attack, you know. If you are in the evening in the, with people, if you say I'm Jewish, okay, you're Jewish, so you are against Israel or for Israel. If you, if you say I'm not against Israel, ooh, you have a lot of problems. It's better to say nothing. I'm not Jewish, leave me alone. Yeah. It sounds like a, a, a German, uh, right, 1938 kind of mentality. I don't know, but you know, for me it's better to say nothing because, uh, well, it, if, a, if someone wants to, to speak, about with, speak about with me of, about Israel or Palestinian, I just say, uh, can you tell me that you are open-minded? Because if you don't, if you don't open-minded, I don't want to discuss with you. It's, Leave me alone, because a lot of people, uh, you know, it's um, to total, total, you know, total for Palestinian, you know, like this, impossible to understand uh, different things. Is there discrimination against Jewish people? No. Or no, no, no. But if uh, if some unsafe, sometimes you feel unsafe, insecurity. If, for example, if you have kippa in Paris. You can feel unsafe, you know. Could you wear a chai in public? Chai, they, they don't know, they don't understand. But uh, Magen David? Ah, uh, Magen David, yes, they understand. So it's, it's better for me to don't have uh, something like this. Or inside, you know. Yeah. Uh, but uh, if people know your politics, let's say, if you're Zionistic, would there be a uh, bias against you professionally? Excuse me, I don't understand. Would, would, there, would you be discriminated against professionally? No, no. If if people know that you that you are a, a supporter of Israel? No, no, no. Not in business. No, not not, not in business. No. But socially, socially, it's different. You know, and me, I am an artist. So in um, a lot of artists, are, you know, are um, against Israel. You know. You know, it's, uh, you know, in France we have the left and the right party, and the left is uh, pro-Palestinian and the right is pro-Israeli. And uh, a lot of artists are from the left, and uh, sometimes extreme left. And extreme left, it's not good for, for me to, to cross this kind of people, you know. <laughs> so, so I'm, uh, I'm very um, quiet about uh, my Jewish uh, religion, you know. And they don't know Shai is Israeli, and uh, they don't know that, so... Uh, are you uh, optimistic that France will resolve this issue? Yeah, yeah, I'm optimistic, but you know, it's impossible to be op optimistic for all the people of France. You have, uh, you have always have uh, crazy people who who they just want to, to hurt uh, Jewish, I don't know why, but it's, it's like that. And I think it's a cycle, you know, there's always a problem in the future. Uh, the German, the uh, Dreyfus, and now it's Palestinian and Israel. I think in 10 years or 20 years uh, more, more, there is a new problem. Uh, so 
For me, it's never finished for Jewish people. Always a little problem, always. Do you notice this in other countries when you travel? Yeah, yeah, you know, I travel a lot in uh, Russia and in Ukraine. In Ukraine, very anti-Semite. Very anti-Semite. So in Ukraine, never say that I'm Jewish. Never. But the music you play sounds so Jewish. Yeah, but they don't know it. <laughs> you, know, you know, I play Atikva. Atikva in Crimea. In Crimea with a lot of Russian. Yeah. It's the south of Ukraine. And in Ukraine, in Kiev, I play Atikva. Yeah, yeah, Tigva. Uh -huh. But they don't know. Uh, it's they don't know that it's very on time. No, and don't, don't don't say that. But you know, very very strange things. Tigva was a war turn in Ukraine. Yeah, 150 years ago, it's uh, Ukrainian people, Jewish Ukrainian, who write Tigva. Yeah, near Kiev. Yeah. So the song. The, the melody, it's a the composition. It's Ukrainian folk song. It's an Ukrainian folk song, Atikva. So today I play Atikva in this country, but I don't say it's Israel on time. I don't say that. <laughs> they had some problems in the Ukraine uh, lately, huh? Yeah, very lot of problem. Yeah, problem because uh, maybe it's finished the democracy, you know? Yeah. It's very, very crazy what's happened in Ukraine. I've got a lot of friends in Ukraine and they feel they just care about the government. Yeah, a lot of Ukrainians want to come in France, you know, because they want to protect their family. They have a state police will be starting to crack down on people who oppose the government? Yeah, yeah, and you have a lot of, you know, KGB, KGB. KGB. KGB, it's the same things. You have the same things now, and it's, you know, they spy a lot of people. They uh, hurt a lot of people. It's crazy. It's crazy. You think this uh, anti Zionism from France, you think it could come to America? What? The anti Zionism from France, from Europe. Yeah. You think it could migrate to the United States? Yeah. Yeah. So, it's a good country in the States. Well, but it like uh, we always follow the fashions of Paris and London, you know. Yeah, I know. But uh, you know, um, Paris is not like in a movie. You know, you, you have a lot of movie with Paris, and uh, if you go to Paris, sometimes you can be. Um, uh, de de um, I don't have the word in English, but um, it's not uh, what you think. You know, you have uh, you dream Paris, but if you were, if you live in Paris, it's different. You know. So uh, it's a beautiful city, but uh, it's not uh, like uh, Amélie Poulain or it's not uh, Montmartre, uh, you know, uh, it's not like that, but it's a beautiful city.